Welcome to South Feles Vardis, National Park of Great Contrast. Vardisn is the western part of National Park where steep mountains plunge into the fjords. It is the largest ice cap in northern Scandinavia and covers approximately 370 square kilometers. The glaciers are still forming landscape here and in few places they are still calving into glacial lakes. If you would like to try a hike up the glacier, Engabren is the most spectacular place to do so. South is mountain plateau and forms the eastern part of National Park. Arctic Circle is crossing through here and mountains are covered with snow almost eight months of the year. For centuries, local Sami people have been herding reindeer in these mountains. If you would like to experience South Fjellet in winter, I personally recommend skiing trip from Semska to Bejarfjell. First day, expect to cover 25 kilometers. The journey starts through Namlausdalen. Here, you will walk surrounded by some of South Fjellet's highest mountains such as Semska and Lonsten. The highest point of the first day is Raudiskare, where you reach almost 1000 meters. After reaching Lake Sondre Bjolovatne, it is just few kilometers to Mitistua cabin. This cozy place offers 16 beds and is often used by ice fishermen. Second day is just 13 kilometers and majority of the trail crosses the Lake Nordre Bjolovatne. At its north end lies Bilovas Tua cabin with 25 beds. It has a beautiful view of the highest peak of South Fille, Orfile, which is 1751 meters high. Third and last day of the trip will take you to Tverberns Tua cabin through numerous lakes and small ridges. It might be a bit tricky to navigate through some of these places, so check your compass and map often. Tverbernstua offers shelter for 23 people and is located just 2 km away from the road 813 over Bejarfjela. During this trek you might really get in touch with true spirit of Southfjela. You will have high chances of seeing reindeer, rock termigan and if you are lucky even arctic fox. Remember that the weather might change quickly and that arctic wind and cold has brought troubles to many tourists. It is important to plan your trip well and have enough clothes and food to wait out the storm. There are areas without cell phone coverage and it might take a while until help can reach you if something goes wrong. This is South Phyllis Vardisen National Park. National Park of Great Contrast.